Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be creating a burning earth like this one here in Photoshop. Let's go to File, New. I'm going to name this document Exploding Earth. I'm going to make it a 12 by 12 canvas at 300 resolution. I'm going to make sure that your background is set to black. Hit Create. Now to start off, we're gonna make the base of the earth exploding. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your elliptical marquee tool. Remember, if you don't see that right away, it's the one right under the move tool. Default is rectangular marquee. So just change it to the elliptical by right clicking on that and then selecting elliptical. Now, if you start in the corner, hold down shift. It's gonna constrain so it's symmetrical. We have now created our earth. With that selected, you're gonna grab a new layer. You can name this Earth Burning. You're then going to grab your paint bucket. If you don't see that, it is underneath the gradient tool. And we can go ahead and dump black inside of that circle. Come up to Filter. We're gonna go down to Render and Difference Clouds. You could go ahead and do that a couple more times by hitting Control Alt F. And then right click, hit deselect. Now we need to give this some colors. We're going to go into a color balance adjustment. I'm going to start off with our shadows. I'm going to move our red to 70. Move the magenta to negative 23 and move the yellow all the way to negative 100. Then we're going to grab our midtones. Going to change the red to 45. Going to change our green to 45 and the blue to 100%. Then we're going to go to our highlights and make our reds 55. The magenta negative 15 and the yellows negative 50. Now going to grab a levels adjustment. And just tweak these. Now what you're going to do is Select the levels and go down and hold shift and select the earth burning and it will select all of those layers. You're going to right click and merge layers. Now we're going to try and make this look more like a planet. So you're going to go up to filter, go down to distort and spherize. Going to make that 100% and hit OK. So that one more time, do control alt F. We're now going to resize this to make it fit on the canvas a little bit better, I'm gonna do Control T, and then hold down the Shift key while making this smaller so that it does not distort. Let go, and then you can move back to the center, hit OK for the check. I'm going to right click on this layer and duplicate that. We can name that Earth Burning. this our flare and with the flare layer selected we're going to go up to filter blur radio blur to change this to 75 method zoom and quality to best hit OK we're going to do that one more time so you can simply just hit control alt F And just for your own knowledge, you can do that repeat step by going to filter and this first section here, this is going to be the last move you did. So it would repeat all of those same steps. So we're hitting control alt F. That's just repeating to this, the shortcut. With the flare still selected, we're going to go up to filter, down to distort and wave. So you're just going to play around with these settings here. And we're going to change the number down to one wavelength. We're going to spin that out. 
try to make it look a little bit more natural and randomize. Hit OK. And you can repeat that step a couple times again using the Control Alt F. Now what we're going to do is we're going to enlarge our canvas size. That way we can add a starry background. So you're going to go up to Image, Canvas Size. I'm going to make that a 24 by 16. Make sure that your canvas extension color is set to black and hit OK. And then you can hit Control Zero and we'll fit this to screen. What you're going to do now is you're going to duplicate the background. Name that stars. Now we're going to go up to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. You move the amount from about 100%. Make it Gaussian and monochromatic. Hit OK. You're then going to go back to filter, down to blur, Gaussian blur, and we're going to bump that up to about two. Hit OK. Now you're going to grab a levels adjustment. And we're going to bring our blacks up and bring the whites down. Bring our midtones to match a little bit more. And you can move these till you are happy with how the stars look. Go ahead and right click on the levels, create a clipping mask so it's only affecting the stars. Now you're going to open your NASA Earth image from Canvas. If you're following along at home, just Google any NASA Earth image. We're going to use our magic wand tool that's under your quick selection tool. So you can just right click on that and then grab the magic wand. Make sure your tolerance is set to about 15. Select the background, and then we're just going to go to Select Inverse, and it automatically selects the Earth. Grab your Move tool, or you can hit V, and move it up to the Exploding Earth tab and down onto the canvas. Now I've dropped it, and you don't see it right now because we were originally selected on the Levels layer, and when you bring anything over into this canvas, it's going to put it right on top of the layer you were selected on. So all you need to do is grab the layer one and move it above Earth Burning, and we can rename that Earth. Hit Control T, and we can resize this. Now you might be thinking right now, wow, that looks really blurry, but that's just because it hasn't rendered. So once you hit Enter or the check mark, it will render and sharpen up. Now what I want you to do is add a layer mask to that, and that way we can start to quickly paint away some of the earth as if it is starting to burn. Now we're going to add a new layer. You can name that smoke. Come up to filter, down to render clouds. You can do that again, control alt F, changing the pattern a couple times. And then we're going to add a layer mask with our paint bucket. You can dump black on there, or if you don't like that method, you can go to edit, fill, and make sure that the foreground color, which is black right now, you can then hit okay. So now we've hidden everything, and we're going to lower the opacity of our brush even more to about 10 or so, 10, 11. And you can come in with a white tone You're going to change the blending mode of that to lighten. And then you can kind of see the edges of our original flare. So we're just going to come in with a layer mask on that and a black paintbrush with a very soft edge with a higher opacity. And we're going to just come, come on in along that edge and get rid of the fine line that we see. And a good thing about doing a layer mask for this is if we went too far in or decided we didn't like it as much, all you need to do is switch the color to white and you can bring that back. That originally occurred just because when our canvas was smaller, we did the radial blur at that point. 
The way to avoid that is to do the radial blur after we enlarge the canvas size. I'm going to go ahead and continue to paint away some of this earth. Now what I want you to do is hold down the control T, select the earth burning, flare, and the background. Right click, merge. Now we're gonna select onto these stars, change that to lighten, add a layer mask to that, and we will paint away the stars on top of the earth and planet. Now select on the background, go up to filter, go down to render, and across the lens flare. We're gonna set our brightness to around 105 and the 105 prime lens, hit okay. Gonna come back to our smoke layer, change our brush opacity back down. And now let your creativity take over and I'd like to see what you can do for this assignment. And once you're done with this, go ahead and go to File, Save As, Exploding Earth, save it as a PSD for yourself. Then go back and File, Save As, JPEG for submission to Canvas.